Dr. Jonas, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me today. So we've got to set up um, the data that you guys have coming. Investors and analysts are calling this a huge potential binary event for your company, and you've got a multi-billion dollar market cap. So a binary event for a company the size of yours is, is very large. Um, please set up for us what people should be expecting if they haven't been following Sage. Um, what are you working on, and what do these data mean? Well, first again, thanks for having me. Our goal at Sage has always been to develop innovative medicines, and our first drug, Zolresso, which is already approved, approved <clears throat> excuse me, is the first and only treatment for postpartum depression. And it's emblematic of what we're trying to achieve with our next drug, which is our oral medicine, Sage 2 and 7. So Zolresso works in a ver very rapidly, and the goal for Zolresso is to get women with postpartum depression better very rapidly and back to their family and back to their children. And the data we saw for our approval was very robust. We then took a drug, developed a drug in her, internally with Sage scientists called Sage 217. That's an oral medicine also used to treat depression. And we've already completed two pivotal programs, one in major depressive disorder and another in postpartum depression. Both of those showed very rapid response and, 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 and durability of response, even though we only use the drug for, for two weeks. So we're very excited by the opportunity this, propose, this may offer. The next study is the third of our three pivotal programs, and that's what we're calling the Mountain Study. That's the study that where we plan to report data this quarter, and as you mentioned, everyone's been waiting for it. Um, although I have to say, it's part of a large portfolio of studies, and it, it's really not binary in our minds. In our minds, it's the next step in our journey. We have some other studies coming after it, all of which we believe still will have potential to make this an important drug. Well, J.P. Morgan, I think, puts a potential 40% swing upwards on great data, up to 50% downwards on a miss. Um, why is this indication so big? Why is it so important? I mean, the landscape for treating depression needs new options, right? There's, there's been a paucity of innovation in, in mental health. We don't spend enough on it. Public policy hasn't focused on it. People with mental health disorders don't get adequate therapy. We know this. Um, it's been notoriously difficult to develop drugs in this space. We've had five studies in a row that are positive. You know, hopefully we'll keep the streak alive. But it's been very, you know, it's a... It's what we call open field running with a lot of boulders there. Um, it's been very hard to conduct winning studies in this space. It's a very large indication. 16 million people a year in the U.S. alone are diagnosed with major depression. So the opportunity in the, for patients and for a company like ours is great. So that's going on inside your company. There's a lot going on outside your company, too, focused on especially drug pricing and politics. And uh, a proposal put on the table by Nancy Pelosi called HR3 is one that you've said could have a chilling effect uh, on your industry and on companies like yours, would we actually see fewer drugs get to market if proposals like that were approved? Well, you know, if you look at the, just the overall drug development ecosystem, first, people think that drugs come from the federal government, and, and that's just untrue. The vast majority of work to develop a drug comes from private, private resources. Um, I think if we, you know, it's highly risky. There's no question. You already mentioned this. People are saying up 50 percent, down 50 percent. You have to ask, who wants a job like this, right? You think about this kind of volatility. And investors are taking major risks. So if you make that risk even greater with price controls and, 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 and regulations that are designed to punish everyone for just outliers, of course you'll have a chilling effect on investment. Well, I want to ask you also about a company that where you serve on the board, Karuna Therapeutics. They had a huge stock move on some schizophrenia data. Um, as somebody who works in this space, has worked in neuroscience your whole career, um, what do you think it says when a stock moves up 400% on data like this that the street just doesn't expect these trials to work? I think you've said it. I think, firstly, it really represents the significant area of unmet medical need in all of mental health, that people are desperate for innovation. I think the data for Karuna, I'm on the board, so I'm biased, are great. Um, but it really is emblematic of how difficult this space has been and how hard innovation has been. And, you know, circling back to your HR3, you know, to get investment in this space, when we started Sage, people thought we were nutty, literally, that no one wanted to be in the CNS space. You see successes. We've had good success, Karuna. It really just displays how hard it is and how, how low the expectations are in central nervous system disorders. All right, we're going to stay tuned for your data coming pretty soon, I think, right? It'll be this quarter. All right, Jeff Jonas, thanks.